A 10-year-old girl was left surprised Prince William wasn't strict when she met the Duke who joked and laughed with school children on a royal visit. Whilst representing her school, one year six pupil found herself in conversation with the Prince of Wales about his favorite team during his trip to St. George's Park. Ness Usual from Edgbaston, Birmingham, admitted she thought the senior royal and Aston Villa supporter would be strict but said he was a really talkative, fun and nice guy. Dot William made a beeline for the 10-year-old when she was playing for her school in the Alf Ramsey Indoor 3G pitch. She said afterwards, he told me Villa was his favorite team and said that he wouldn't want us to let him down. We promised not to dot at first I thought he would all be like strict because Hess in the royal family and has to follow these guidelines. But Hess really talkative, fun and nice guy. My dad will be really proud, the heartwarming interaction took place during a visit to St. George's Park where Prince William chatted about the upcoming World Cup in Qatar with England boss Gareth. William, as president of the FA, spent 15 minutes chatting to Southgate in private at England's National Football Centre, a 330-acre complex in Staffordshire. They spoke about football issues and the World Cup kicking off next month, it is claimed. His visit today marked the centre's 10th anniversary since opening and he heard about efforts made by England's deaf team, as well as para-footballers playing power chair and school pupils like Nessia. Speaking to youngsters from Everton in the community who are representing Team England at the Street Child World Cup in Doha, Qatar, he added, It's not just playing football is it, it is everything that comes with it. Dot school children representing clubs from across the Midlands, ranging from Derby County to Stoke City, took part in the in or football tournament. Wills was distracted by children wearing Aston Villa shirts but also stopped to talk to a side wearing kits from rivals Birmingham City. The children compete for their school but are given kits by their nearest football team to play in their colors, it is understood. Also during the visit, William watched drills by England Deaf Men's Team, managed by Scotsman Andy Smith. As he chatted to the players and encouraged them, his words were translated to the team by sign language. Wales joked, do you add a Scottish accent? William also watched England's pair football team take on West Bromwich Albion's side. He told them afterwards, it looks so fast, spinning and hitting the ball, it is really amazing. <laughs>